G'day everyone, Ali here. Just wanted to jump on today and do a quick video. Uh, so it's something a little bit different to crafting. Um, as you know, by my accent, I'm an Aussie. So I live in Australia, uh, live on the Gold Coast precisely, uh, southeast corner of Queensland. Um, as a lot of you around the world may be aware that there are a lot of bushfires happening in Australia at the moment. Now, a couple of days ago, um, they had released some statistics, which uh, I read and found that it was really mind blowing. So uh, the size of our country in hectares is roughly about 769 million hectares. So give or take. OK, so it's a big country. Out of that, we've had 6.2 million hectares burnt. Okay, gone, cindered. Now, that amount of land would represent roughly the size of Lithuania. Okay, so gone. My husband's Welsh, so that would represent um, roughly three times the size of Wales. Gone, <laughs> so, or burnt. So um, a significant amount of land. Currently, we have 303 fires burning around the country. So I think uh, in every state, even the Apple Isle, Tasmania, they've got bushfires as well. Uh, so 303 bushfires, crazy. We've had 1,574 homes burnt to the ground. So that's 1,574 families that have lost everything. Uh, that's really sad. Some of them will have insurance, some of them won't. Uh, so a really sad time for them. Another sad statistic was the deaths. We've had 19 deaths so far. We've got 29 missing people. So hopefully, those 29 missing people will turn up safe. Let's hope and pray. We've also seen a huge evacuation in some coastal towns and something that we've never seen here in Australia before. So northeast Victoria, uh, the East Gippsland, and to the south coast of New South Wales, so just below Sydney. So Sydney's not on fire, but south of Sydney um, is. So um, we have um, seen a lot of evacuation. So it's um, that's the main topic of our news at night is the evacuations and the fires. So there's whole towns that's been evacuated. People that have chosen not to go, um, that where their life has been in danger, they have been told to go to the beach. Uh, that's probably the safest area. So if the fire does come through, they can get in the water. Now, I can't comprehend that, um, what it would be like to be in that situation. Um, it just horrifies me, just the thought of it. We've had a lot of family and friends from all over the world uh, email us, message us, messaging us, just to make sure that we are safe. We are safe uh, here on the Gold Coast. We had a lot of fires go through in, I think it was September, October, uh, where we did lose a lot of, um, of our hinterland area. Uh, but where we are living, we are safe. We have uh, also family and friends um, in the southern states. Uh, one in particular who emailed us last night to let us know that she was safe. She has been evacuated four times in the past two months. I can't comprehend that. Susanna, please stay safe. On top of all these bushfires, another emerging sad factor is the loss of our native animals so we've got koalas kangaroos um, snakes even though i don't like snakes um, and native birds and that so there's people that are trying to go in and save these beautiful creatures as well so i applaud those 
today what I want to do is I'm going to pledge my YouTube income. I'm only a small YouTuber, so I only have about seven and a half thousand subscribers. But for the little income that I do get each month, I normally put towards crafting supplies, bits of bobs, and that sort of thing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to donate my income to the Rural Fire Brigade. They do a fantastic service. Uh, they're mainly made up of volunteers, um, some of which have been out fighting fires and they've gone home to rest to find that the house has been burnt down. So uh, I do want to pledge uh, my income for December, January, and I'm going to do February as well. So three months of income I'm going to donate to the Rural Fire Brigade. What does this mean for you? It just means you don't have to donate anything but your time. Okay, so what I'm asking for is if you watch my YouTube videos, um, that will generate the ads, which provides me a little bit of revenue to buy my supplies normally, but I'm gonna donate it. I hope that you do view my videos. If you do like my videos, please give me the thumbs up. If you do also like my videos, please subscribe and hit that notification bell also. Now, until next time, everybody, stay safe, especially if you're in the affected areas of Australia. If you're not in the affected areas, stay safe anyway, and we'll see you in the next video. See ya.